going to take you out of this vehicle. I can walk out. Okay, well, I'm going to help you out. Since you, you haven't been cooperative you don't with need me, to help me, I'm going to help you out. You have no weapons on you? No, I do not. Okay, step out of the car. Oh, yeah. Put your phone down. You're being detained. Okay. For what? Because I, I don't believe what you're telling me. You are being detained because I don't believe what you are telling me. Hey, Coleman? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to Chicago, Illinois. All right, sir, I'm not being hostile, just so you know. That's the voice of passenger Lee Coleman. I was being very calm. Do you have your body cam on? Yes. Right. He started recording this June 2022 encounter after the police began questioning him. So once we, we have to go to court, we'll see that you falsely accused me of something, all right? That's not gotcha. fine. You could videotape too? This is a temporary proof. Under settled law, passengers in a vehicle stopped for a traffic no. violation have no obligation to answer questions or provide ID, just the driver. Is this your vehicle? It's my father's, but I'm on the insurance. So oh, it's understandable. Name is, understand. His name is Keith Jackson, and mine is Lakeisha's with Lincoln Insurance. So it's covered. At this point, police seem focused on the driver, Miss Jackson, Coleman's friend. As I was transferring some papers, I don't see it. Because you just did this. Yeah. Can you ask your dad where it is? Well, I can get his um, Can I possibly get just like the policy number on my dad so you can look it up or verify? I can't anything? look it up. Did you, do you have an old one? This is just what I. Uh... As Miss Jackson tries to pull together the information, police officer Tyler Barrett sees passenger Coleman recording and decides again yeah, like to engage. The same company. Can I talk to you? You are talking to me. No. There's no reason for you to talk to me. I'm not the person driving. What am I stepping out for? Step on out, talk to you. No. Anything on you I gotta worry about? No. As Miss Jackson steps outside, the lead officer gives an instruction to his partner. Tyler, open the door. Don't move. Okay? Why are you sweating like that? All right, because first I'm of all, sick, and we're going to the sick? pharmacy okay. to get some. Why, why are you not cooperating? I'm trying to talk. Because to you. I'm sick. There's no. I. There's What's no your reason name? for me. I don't have to release my name to you. I'm a veteran. Yes, he's a veteran who knows his rights. Still. Okay. Yes, you do. All right. This, I have an investigation going on. Okay. All right. I'm getting my ID. Don't, where is your ID? Don't reach here. You have no weapons on you. Not at all. Okay. It's in this pocket right here. Please don't touch me. I've been sexually assaulted before. I don't like okay, it. Okay, you're being audio, video veteran, recorded. Veteran. Just so you know. I'm a veteran okay. PTSD. What's your name? Is actually that, that'll solve this whole problem. What is your name? Lee Coleman. Lee, Lee Coleman, and that's what your ID says? Yes. Okay. Where is your ID? In my fifth pocket. Okay, take your seatbelt off. You're being audio, video recorded, okay? Just so you know, I'm going to move this, and I'm going to take you out of this vehicle. I can walk out. Okay, well, I'm going to help you out. Since you, you haven't been cooperative with me, to help me, I'm going to help you out. You have no weapons on you? No, I do not. Okay, step out of the car. Oh, okay. yeah. Put your phone down. You're being detained. Okay. For what? Because I, I don't believe what you're telling me. Hey, Coleman? Mr. Coleman's camera gets placed face down, but continues recording audio. Since you're being uncooperative, I believe you to be somebody else. Okay? Okay. You're just being detained right now, okay? As soon as I get your ID, if you were to cooperate with me when I ask you to roll down the window, I believe right you'd be somebody else. Right okay, if you're Lee Coleman, you'll be free to go. All right? No, check this credit card, too. That's my credit card. There you go. It was, it was that simple. You see that veteran shit there, sir? I saw this fucking country. Okay, okay. I'm not saying you did it. I don't think you just asked me to this. All you're doing is going to the store. Okay, so and you're going to be on your way immediately. If you would have rolled down. Okay, well, guess what? When I'm people are in my profession, in my prof I'm sorry, if my you are retired from okay. the police officer. You want to let me talk? Do you want to let me talk so I can explain to you what's going on? Go ahead. Sir. Okay. We believe somebody, me over here, to look exactly, I'm not on bullshit, okay? To have a warrant, okay? And I thought you were that person that had a warrant. And when you don't want to roll down your window you and speak to me, I'm going to, I'm going to write. That's what I'm doing. And I see you, I understand you might be sick, okay? I am but sick. But I don't know that. And when you're not rolling down the window and you're not talking to me and you're sweating, that makes me to believe, what do you know? Okay. Okay. And that's that's my point of view, okay? Actually, it's not okay. Under settled case law, sweating, having the same skin tone as a suspect, and being silent are not justification for police to get your ID. It's also racial profiling, which is illegal. I'm not trying to disrespect you in any way, okay? Right. 
if you would have rolled down the window, handed me your ID, okay? I told you what I, the reason I want your ID is that you look exactly like somebody I'm looking for that has a warrant, okay? Right. I'm not on any bullshit, okay? You, I'm not going through your car. I'm not searching you. I'm not doing anything like that, right okay? All right. I, I just wanted you to know where where I'm coming from. I have no issue. Okay. You. I appreciate it. Me, Thank you. I appreciate it. I need to get something. Okay. You'll be out of handcuffs. You can get to your pharmacy or something to eat. And that'll be it, okay? I'm going to give you a receipt saying that we stopped you. And that'll be it, okay? And you stopped us because you said that you failed to use the turn signal coming out of parking place? I stopped you because I think you had a warrant. Oh, you know. Thank you for your service. What are you, Marine? Navy. Navy? I'm the... I don't know what any, I know that you I served. Shot, I shot the Tomahawk cruise missile from 2001 to 2003, 2007, Operation Enduring Freedom and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Thank you. You said you're No, I don't thank you. I killed men, women, and children for no good. I got, I got issues. Though. Okay. All right. Sorry. No, I, didn't, I don't. Don't be sorry. I provided that blanket for you. Okay. I appreciate that. Just listen. I'm going to document everything that I did today. Okay. Why I stopped you. Are you illegally detained right now? You're not illegally detained. Yes, I am. Okay. You say I look like somebody? Nah, I didn't do anything. You don't know anything. No, I don't. Why don't you tell me? You don't I might know. I already told you. I already What's told you. I don't have to get into that. I'm just, I know you don't have to. I just asked you a question. That's all. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not forcing you. I'm not being honest. I'm not going to uh, let you know about my investigation. All right. All right. Listen, dude. My name is not dude. I call it you, sir. I'm a veteran. Don't, don't call me dude. I, I'm not a dude, sir. I understand. I understand. I understand. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, why do I have to respect you all the time? You call me dude. That's not right. Yeah, every n doesn't have a warrant, just so you know. Okay, dude. Uh, once again, I'm, dude. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to. Once again, you call me dude. 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 Just I called you doing. sir. Why? You, you acting like you're giving respect to me. You're antagonizing me. The antagonization starts when you don't speak to me. An illegal stop. A legal stop. Let me get your right let me now. get your receipt. All right, thank you. Where's my phone? Mm. And with that, Mr. Coleman was released. According to several reports, he is now considering a civil lawsuit. Legal experts say he has a strong case and that his video, never mind the police body cameras that are coming, show the cops clearly violated Coleman's first, fourth, and 14th Amendment rights. Officer Tyler Barrett's underscored all of this at the end of the video when he told Coleman the antagonizing starts when you don't speak to me. That's right, speak to the police officer or else. Well, it may be news to Officer Barrett's, but the U.S. Constitution, which he took an oath to uphold, gives all of us the right not to speak to law enforcement. And yet this ignorant Chicago cop with a dangerous chip on his shoulder, a fragile ego, and a penchant for racial profiling got triggered and retaliated. And that meant a U.S. military veteran who already has PTSD was yanked out of a vehicle, handcuffed, and detained illegally. Let me be clear. I do not hate police, and there's probably no city in America where being a cop is more challenging than Chicago. Still, this cop's actions and attitude were disgraceful. His tyrannical behavior must have consequences. More broadly, it is time across America to end police officers' qualified immunity. Once police are forced to pay lawsuit fines out of their own pocket, we might get back to law enforcement that upholds the Constitution instead of trampling on it. In the meantime, in Chicago and beyond, and even if you were a veteran, watch out. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.